you've seen talent shows for singers, dancers, and for comics, but you've never seen anything like this. A nationwide search, then the public vote. Three judges, armed with the ultimate weapon. I'm afraid we're going to be quite brutal here. It's a talent show, not a freak show, okay? What the hell was that? Do you have any idea what you're talking about? Are you guys watching the same show I am? This time, there are no age limits, no boundaries, and no second chances. It's F for finished, all right? Oh, it's over. Yeah. One million dollars is on the yeah. line. And everybody wants it. Auditions will never be the same again. I just love the whole thing. It was hot. This is America's Got Talent. America has got talent, and you are awesome. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Behind me is the world-famous entrance to Paramount Studios. Through these gates have swept some of the most talented stars in the world. But where is all that talent today? Sure, celebrities are a dime a dozen, but I'm talking about real stars. Well, it's not going so good, is it? So we are going on a quest to find them, and we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, by holding auditions across America. We have thrown the doors open to absolutely anybody doing absolutely anything. And when you do that, this is what you get. You're about to get so wow. We, we got, got talent! talent. We, we got, got talent! talent. <laughs> Hundreds came to sign up for the registration process, and for a million dollars, they were prepared to do just about anything. Oh, well, like I'm really gonna do that, people. Come on. Whether they came as something hairy. I'm a man in a gorilla suit. With something hairy. Or looking kind of scary. Oh, you guys, I'll tell you what. These astounding and slightly strange acts share one dream. To be the best talent in America. I am the best looking man in comedy. I'm here to become America's next big talent. There were no rules. This is my act. I belly dance. This is a talking donkey act. No age limit. Senior Jewish rapper. And for some... Holy, 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 no talent. But that didn't stop the hopefuls from showing off. That's good television. Now, even though we don't know what these people do, <laughs> we're going to pull out all the stops to help them, absolutely. If they want music, well, we've got this great band. Hi, Ricky, how you doing? How's everybody over there? And if they need a great big stage, we've got this up. Yes. The only question is, are they worth $1 million? Because that's the prize. And these people want it bad. <laughs> contestants from California and the entire West Coast. Each and every single person in this audience is hoping to perform on this stage tonight and proceed on to the semifinals. But one thing is for sure, they better impress the heck out of these three judges, because believe me, they came here with one thing in mind, and that's talent. First up, please welcome the big Hasselhoff himself, David Hasselhoff. Come on! <laughs> For over 20 years, David Hasselhoff has been a major television film and recording personality. There's absolutely nothing he hasn't done, from running down the beach in his shorts, to talking to a car, to serenading the Germans in a flashy jacket. But this actor-producer had the last laugh. With two hit series and multiple feature films, he released 12 albums in Europe 
six of which went platinum. I'm looking forward to the American dream. I'm looking forward to somebody really coming out of this like I did. Someone who is fresh, new, exciting, and gets our attention. And all grown up now, the beautiful recording artist and singing star, Brandy. Brandy, looking good there. Awards are abundant for Grammy singer and actress Brandy, thanks to a hit TV show and two gold and three platinum albums. I'm here to find the next big superstar. When they come on stage, I really want them to not only move me, but I want them to surprise me. I want to see something that I've never seen before. And that's what I'm looking for. And finally, from the UK, the man with the wit and the wisdom, the renowned journalist, Piers Morgan. <laughs> Holding the title as the youngest newspaper editor in the UK, Piers Morgan, best-selling author and journalist, holds the fate of the world's rising stars in his hands. I've met and interviewed the biggest stars in the world for the last 20 years. Princess Diana was a friend of mine. I've met all the members of the royal family, Charles, uh, the Queen many times. So I know what the impact of a royal in a room can be. And I hope whoever wins our show also has that impact when they come in a room and everyone goes, wow. So my message to every American watching this is this. You all think you've got talent. Come and prove it to me. Your judges right here. Okay, now remember, we don't know what's coming in these auditions, and if they're bad, well, we want to stop them as soon as we can. So each judge has a button which lights up an X, and it sounds like this. David. Brandy. Very nice. Piers. Oh, my God, we get the idea. Now, if an act gets all three Xs, they have seen enough to make their call. So let's get started now. When I call your name out, please come on up, go backstage, bring your props, sort out the music, Get ready, and so can I have for the first guest of the evening, Dave, the horn guy. Oh, right over there. How about a hand for at last, at last, where are you, right here. Sid, the kid. Yes, Sid. And finally, Bobby Badfingers. My name is Bobby Badfingers, and I'm a professional snappist. My act is totally original. I'm the only one in the world that is a professional snappist. Nobody's ever heard of what I do. I can turn somebody's day around like that. I wear my glasses. Yeah. Nice. Three, two, two, one, and off you go. All right. Who are you? I'm Bobby Badfingers. And what do you do, Bobby? Bad I'm fingers. a professional finger snapper. Wow, that's with your profession. <laughs> something yeah. all right i don't know what it is you've got but you've got something and i i loved it i don't know why but i loved it, I loved it. No, does the audience always react like this audience oh surprisingly yes wow. <laughs> well, thank you thank you more, more power to you, man. <laughs> 
think that was amazing. I never heard of a finger, a professional finger snapper before, and you killed it. I loved it. Well, thank you very And I love the different rhythms you had going with it. I think America's gonna love you too. We should vote with our snaps, okay? Exactly. <laughs> and nothing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brandy? Yeah. yeah. Bobby Batfingers, you're going through. All right. Yeah. Everybody snaps in America. They snap to music, carried rhythms with their fingers, and I've taken it one step closer to becoming a legitimate instrument, and everybody will have a great time with it, I think. And where's that million? We've got to find that thing. Is it around here somewhere? Let's go find that son of a gun. Dave, come on over here. Yeah, nice to see you. Everybody else is backstage now. I want you to wait with me for a moment. They're right. back there getting focused. Anyway, it's nice to see you. Good to see you. How long have you been playing the harmonica? <laughs> Hi, Dave. I've been doing these horns about a year, year and a half, somewhere in that mix. Is that all? That's yeah, it. I started out with about 10 bike horns from the bike store and right? got 25 horns now. All right. You ready to go? I'm good to go. Is Dave the horn guy. All right. You guys ready to keep it rocking in here? All right, check it out. Dave the Horn Guy beanie so I can take it up to the next level and become MC Dave the Horn Guy. Mix it up. Mix it up, DJ. Dave, Dave, I don't mean to be unfair to you, but I've traveled thousands of miles to try and find the next great American talent. If you don't mind me saying, you belong on the end of a pier. <laughs> oh, <God>. preferably, <laughs> preferably off the end of a pier. I mean, it wasn't for me. Brandy, what do you think? Maybe I don't, I'm being too cruel on the guy. Not so many people can do what Dave just did. That's true. Right, that's right. That's true. That I was entertained and I just felt like you could play in harmony. That was hot. I liked it. Thank you. Well, I did. Um, I thought the performance was great. I think it'd be fantastic on Hollywood Boulevard. Thanks, bro. <laughs> okay, well, look, we're going to decide if this guy goes forward. I mean, look, I, I think it's clever, okay? What you do is clever. It's ridiculous. So I don't want to see you again. I'm sorry. But it is Brent? about diverse talent. Yeah, and it is about diverse talent. But you that... definitely did your thing with the horns, man. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Do you want to definitely. see him again? I want to yeah. see Dave again. Great. Okay, well, Brian. I want to see you again. You want to see him again? Yeah. Okay. So against one. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. All right. Everybody, we are Blue Velvet. Oh man! I can't believe you guys. <laughs> uh, shall we vote? Yes. That was the vote, David. Yeah, okay. we have. Yeah, I vote. That was the vote. Okay. No, no, no and no. I'm sorry. Guys, thank you. Thank thank you. I'm sorry. You're missing out. I'm missing out. Yeah. Thank you. I hope they both like it. <laughs> We're going to take a break right now, but don't you dare go away. I say America's got talent. Am I right? Well, we're all going to find out right after the break. Coming up, auditions from America's youngest comic and oldest male stripper. Plus, is Kenny Shelton a million-dollar juggler? We'll see. Thank 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Welcome back, everybody, to America's Got Talent. We've got an audience full of people waiting to audition. Next up, at last. My name is Mike. Hi, my name's Hans. My name is DJ. Hey, I'm Justin. We're, We're at last. last. <laughs> we, we think we have a shot at winning this competition because we have a very unique sound, which is called hip-hop appella. We blend old-school harmonies with new-school beats. What? Yeah, our family and friends were really supportive of us. Um, in the beginning, they were a little bit hesitant because of, you know, they wanted us to pursue professional careers, you know, in law or medicine, something like that. But they respected our decision to pursue our dreams and do what we love to do. And they're like, you know, they're our biggest fan club. Time is it. Game time. Woo. What's up, everybody? We'll call that last. We're from right here in Los Angeles. We're gonna turn back the clock a little bit and uh, sing a little four part harmony for you guys. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. It's no more when she's away. Ain't no sunshine. She's gone, and she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away, Ooh. and I know, 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 I know. Sunshine when she's gone. Oh, 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 ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away, say it one more time now. Anytime she goes away, ooh, ooh. anytime she goes away. I love the way you guys look. It's different. It's hot. It's right now. It's just what this competition needs. I'm a fan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here, what do you think? You guys were almost faultless. So I think we're all agreed you've got great talent. I would change the look. Keep the look. Right? Get rid of the silly Keep hat. Keep the look. She knows what she's Keep talking about. Apart from, apart from selling 25 million albums, what's she know about music, eh? <laughs> no sad, OK, no we sad. disagree about the look, but either way, I think we're all agreed you've got talent. David? Absolutely, you're in. Brandy? Thank you. 100%. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, America. Right. We're going through. Yes. We're going through. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that close Woo! it up, close it up, close it up. Next. What's up, America? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait a minute, young lady. <laughs> wait a minute. Hold up a sec. Who, who are you? Sid the Kid, man. Are you? What's up? <laughs> what, do, uh, what do you do, Sid the Kid? I'm doing stand-up comedy. Are you? Go for it. My name is Sid the Kid. Okay, I'm eight years old. I'm third grade. You know what bothers me a lot? Okay, the boys. You know, I'm not talking about the little ones. The little, little ones that smell like cookies and dirt, y'all. <laughs> Little boys can't do nothing for me. Right? They can't pay my rent. Forget them. I don't need them. Because I am drinking my milk, all right? And one day, I'll have big giant tutus and a big giant butt just like my mother, right? <laughs> Oh, 
Well, we like this, Brandy, huh? Yeah, I feel oh, you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we like this. I feel oh, you, yeah. Brandy. All right. <laughs> well, why are we so fat? Oh. I mean, don't we eat vegetables? I'm just curious. I mean, if I see another fat black lady in a tiny dress, I think I'm going to die. <laughs> I mean, you're not a size two. <laughs> Kid, who writes your material? I do. You That's write it yourself? Oh. That is good stuff, girl. Thank you. Wow. I think you're one of the funniest people I've seen in stand up, Thank and you're you. eight years old. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You're going to be a huge star. Yeah. I'm glad to have met you. Okay. All right. All right. Shall we get, Let's have a vote. Shall we, shall we get to the vote? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What's oh. your vote? No question. You're going through. Yes. I'm a huge fan of yours. Kid, you were awesome. You're on to the next round. Go right to the Yeah! Woo! Spin the kid! Go. Bye bye, baby. Thank you. Woo! My God. Wow. I got some more names here. All right, let's hear it for it. Bernie Parker. Alexis Short. Alexis Short. Kenny Shelton. Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. Kenny's a happy guy. I'm hoping that I don't drop. I'm praying that I don't drop. I go really fast, and sometimes I get I can't control myself when I'm really going for it. I'm from San Diego, California. I'm going to show you something very unique and entertaining juggling. Are you ready? Yeah. We're ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. I've been forgotten, Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Here's the problem, okay? It's a bit like running the relay. You know, you drop the baton, it's over. To be a good juggler, you can't keep dropping things. Anyone can, anyone can juggle and keep dropping it. All professionals drop one or two. You dropped it almost Let me, every single I, one. Can I show you my final, my final part? You apartment? promise not to drop anything. I won't drop it. Okay. If you drop it, wait, wait, oh, wait. Oh, wait, no. Wait, oh, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. No, no. Okay, you, no. you promise us one thing, right? <laughs> yeah. If you drop one now, you walk straight off. I'll walk straight off. Is that a deal? That's a deal. Okay. <laughs> Simon, come up here a minute. Come up here. Okay, here. this guy's going to time you, okay? you got a minute. Ready? Yeah. Go. Can do it. Can do it. 15 more seconds. Okay, count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, we're coming back. Kenny Shelton just goes to show you never give up. That's right, Kenny. We're going to be right back with more auditions from L.A. Coming up, are these pirates a million-dollar treasure? 
Bernie the Stripper does the full Monty. And we meet the world's worst impressionist. And now, we're going to have a commercial break. In the meantime, maintain the force. Thank you. To the show. I've had the good fortune to witness our next act getting ready backstage, and I'm still not too sure what they do. But you decide with the judges as we welcome the Shadow Dancers. shadow dancing. It's just three weirdos with a donkey, wasn't it? <laughs> we aren't going to vote, okay? I'm going to, on this occasion, let the audience vote. Audience, if you want them to go through, cheer. <laughs> Wait. If you think maybe it's the biggest waste of space you've ever seen, then boo. <laughs> Thank you just and just goodbye. Leave the party. Bye-bye. I like your tattoos. Thank you. That's one thing somebody likes. Yes, no, I, I thought it was a fascinating act. But what is the story <laughs> that, that we didn't understand? It's about pirates and love and abandonment. And, and the pony, what role does the pony play? <laughs> and incidentally, I love... the love triangle. Oh, the love triangle. The love In other words, triangle. the big pirate has to decide between you and the pony? <laughs> Pony's looking better all the time. Okay! We're going to move on. Thank you very much. My name is Bernie. My age is 65, almost 66. I was a nuclear engineer. I, uh, my field was radiation protection. Some of the craziest reactions to my act have been females passing out, uh, the screaming, and uh, I've had them cry at some of my shows. And I've won more contests than anybody. I'm still doing it. <laughs> Oh my God! Here we go. Arm, let's go. Favorite act, David. My name is Bernie Barker. I'm the world's Bernie. oldest male stripper. Wait, stripper, as in you're gonna take off your clothes? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Take this the wrong way, okay? You're, a, you're okay. a nice, you're a nice old guy, but enough's enough. Just okay. 
Oh. We have to cut you off in your prime, if you don't mind me saying, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think hey, at least I had a prime. Guy, <laughs> you think America would I love think us? America would definitely root for Bernie. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Bernie has the it factor, I'm sorry. If you're the next superstar in America, America's got big problems. All right? This is very easy. Never. percent yes i love you you're hot yeah hot, hot, hot. Okay. Bernie, off you go off you go you guys are nuts <laughs> absolutely nuts america's gonna see much more of me uh, i'm gonna come back with my glow stick and much less clothes i thought he was great i wanted to see how far he was gonna go Hey guys. Hi. How old are you? I'm 14. 14? Wow. Yeah. So what are you gonna sing for us today? I'm gonna sing I Have Nothing by Whitney Houston. Ooh. Okay. Go for it. Share my life. Take me forward. America has got talent, and you are one of them. You are awesome. Miss Thing, you got it. You got it. Man. I started when I was your age, and I'm going to tell you something. It's like watching myself in a mirror. Your tone, everything about you, your confidence, just unbelievable I'm, I'm just so glad you're on this show and i'm so glad i can be a part of what you're gonna do in your life <laughs> now, i thought you've chosen you've chosen a difficult song there because you've chosen a song where it's all fine to start with and then there comes that moment when you've got to hit that big note and i thought then if you hit that big note you are a star and you hit the big note Brandy? I vote yes too, but did you have to scream? Well, I'm excited. Okay, I vote yes as well. You're through. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Such a great show. Oh, oh. Thank you. So Time for another break, but let's get some more acts up here first, okay? Is there a Harry Carey? in the house right now. Harry, Carey. There he is. Kevin Johnson. Kathy Kavanaugh. Eddie Haskell. Eddie. How are you? There they go. 
what they do is anybody's guess. But I'm guessing there's some talent here. And we're going to find out right after these commercials. Coming up, the Million Dollar Chase continues with an incredible ventriloquist and a sore loser. than Justin Timberlake. Yeah, yeah, Zoom a dog, you feel me? Welcome back to the show. Yeah, more talent coming your way. But is it worth a million dollars? They think so, but will our judges think so? Let's go. I'm Eddie Haskell and his singing song. Okay. We're ready, ready for Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> He's kind of scary. If you like, like heard a little bit of it. It's, it's yeah, well, we we tried. We we just weren't ready for Eddie. Maybe for extreme makeover or something, but not for the show. It's a no from me. I'm sorry. Okay, it's a it's a no for that's you, David. No, that's a no. No. Okay, I'm sorry. Thanks, You're Eddie. Nice. No, we're sorry. Next Thank time. you, Eddie. They listen to me for ten seconds. Is that fair to you? Does it sound right? Oh, yes. Okay, you oh, gotta yes. help me with this. What's going okay. on? <laughs> well, my name is Kevin Johnson. Hello, Kevin. And these are my two closest friends. This is Clyde. What's <laughs> up? And this is Matilda. Would... Hello? Are you looking at what I'm looking at? Yeah, three X's, so don't screw this up, buddy. <laughs> I want to share something a little different with you. It's... Have you ever seen one of the old Godzilla movies where the words don't match their mouth? We want to show you what it would look like to see one live without any camera tricks. Then we'll say goodbye. And don't try this at home. It's called a Godzilla theater. <clears throat> Did you hear? There's a dinosaur on the loose right here in Los Angeles. How does that make you feel? Are you scared? Come on, talk to me. I'm not scared. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> you know what? I'm scared. I don't even like King Kong. That's right, lady. Stick close to us. You do okay. Lay low. Keep quiet, all right? It's Godzilla. We gotta get out of here right now. No. We want to thank you. We really do. Thank you. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, look. Uh, I may have been a bit quick off the draw. I think. Yeah. I buzzed you because I didn't think you were very funny, and then the moment I buzzed you, you suddenly became very funny. So, uh, if I could withdraw my buzzer, I would withdraw my buzzer. Oh. Are you on the right? Look at that. I just, I just had a feeling about you. Just, I really had a feeling that you were going to get into it and really be funny and try something new, and you did it, and I was right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Brandy. Thank, thank you. I, I thought it was awesome. How do you follow the Godzilla stuff? I mean, that's... <laughs> How can it get any better than that? I just don't you, know. You it. don't think about it. You just let it happen, baby. <laughs> Guys, are we going to vote him through to next round? Right. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I want to see how you can top that. I vote you through. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're definitely through. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was good because he, he suddenly funny. became funny. I know. It was incredible. That thing with the Godzilla was funny. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah, but how do you follow that? That's what I want to see. 
was okay. I carried him through it. You, you carried me through it? That was my job. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it was fun, though. We had a blast. My name is Kathy Cavanaugh, and I am the singing harpist. How long have you played the harp? Uh, I started the harp when I was 34. So you've been playing what, for five years? or? Uh, yeah? Aw, <laughs> uh, that was sweet of you. I, I have my sweet moments. Go on, let's see it. Okay, you know, you know what I thought? I, I think the reason it didn't go down that well is probably not the right act for this show. Yeah. What I did think, though, is if I die, I'd love you to play at my funeral. <laughs> well, don't sound so pleased about the idea. If I die, I'd like you to play at my funeral, because it was beautiful. I, it was just, I, just kept, <laughs> I just kept imagining you, you floating in the air. <laughs> uh, so, oh, David, uh, here's, no, we're going to no. vote. No, okay. I, We're gonna vote. I, I have to vote. She's a lovely, sweet lady, and thank you for coming in and, and the music. So it's no? <laughs> Come on, man, you're demanding. No. Um. <laughs> it's, a, it's a reluctant no. I think you're very talented, but not but, for this But show. she will play no. at your funeral. Yes, you will. I would love to, and also, <laughs> God bless you all. I didn't mean it that way. I don't know the way this audience is reacting to the idea of my funeral, all right? I really don't. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's goodbye, but... Yeah. We're going to take another break right now, but we'll be right back. See you in just a few moments. Don't go away! Coming up, Vladimir does the nutcracker. Napoleon's not so dynamite. And is it career suicide for Harry Carey? Hey, Yoda, why don't you sing us a song? Hi, I'm Harry Carey. I'm here to do some impersonations. She's going to do I'm inspired by impersonators through the 70s, growing up watching Saturday Night Live and The Tonight Show. When I do impersonations, I do them right on. They're, they're, they're perfect. I, I have hearing, so I can hear what I'm doing, and that's what all some impersonations should do. How you doing? Oh, how you doing? I'm a little nervous here. Oh, don't be nervous. Come on, it's just national television, a million bucks. Come on, man. <laughs> what do you do, pal? Um, I'm gonna do some impersonations. Yeah. I've been doing it since I was a little kid. Well, go for it. Good luck. Hey, it's me, Arnold. I'm here to sing your song. I have some of my friends. We're here with Yoda. He's from Star Wars. <laughs> and and Shaggy, he's from Scooby Doo. Ooh. Hey, Yoda, why don't you say something? Okay. Speak, I will. Hmm. We should use the force when we sing. Hey, good idea. How about you, Shaggy? Like, I don't know. I don't think I have a voice. Oh, man. What are we going to do? Oh, come on. Hey, I'm going to pump me up. Hold on, before I sing. Uh, hey. Well, you know, thank you very much. May the force be thank with you. you. Thank you. Never has the phrase, I'll be back, been less appropriate. Yeah. Well, uh, we won't be seeing you again. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh. I think they're wrong. I don't know if they even know um, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo or Yoda from Star Wars. Um, unless the microphone was wrong, I, I just, uh, I thought it was right on. Moving on! Here we go! And we have Jay Mill! Jay Mill! The Holy Cow! Holy Cow! There he is! And Vladimir Mama Chicken!
Hi, Vladimir. Welcome to the show. What do you do? I do a hand balancing act. A hand dancing act? A hand balancing act. Oh, a hand balancing act, right. Yes. So why don't we get that curtain up and let's take a look. like a peaceful mood. I really liked it. Thank you. Vladimir, I, I thought I'd hate you, all right? I'll be honest with you. I, when you started going, I thought I just going to be a gymnast wearing funny white clothes, and I wouldn't like it. And then as it went on, you began to move me. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed your performance. So well Very done. Very Voting time? Vote. Yes. I say if you come back with a different outfit, please come back. I say yes with the outfit. <laughs> I, I say yes, whatever you want to wear. It's fine. You're back. You're back. You're off. You're off. You're off. Congratulations. Yeah. Coming up, things take a nasty turn as Ivan the Juggler throws Big Hasselhoff into a rage. Are you guys watching the same show I am? The trouble starts after the break. You're watching the talent show where the acts will do anything for a million dollars. So far, they have stripped, snapped, sang, juggled, honked, talked, and twanged their way through the audition round. They'll try it all to make it to the semifinals. What they face is this. The judges don't know what's coming. They just hope America's got talent. takes talent, skill, dedication, practice. Everything you guys did was wonderful. Thank you guys. Amazing. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Appreciate it. Here's my thought, OK? Yeah. I can see you guys being the new Harlem Globetrotters. Exactly. Exactly. Right. 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 Exactly. Which, which, means, like that, which means you may, you may have a future in this competition, or you may not. But Let's vote. Yes or no, David? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah! Right on! See you next time! 
Very, very good job out there, man. So one of the judges didn't see it our way at first. Because I think it's wack. He's from England. <laughs> he's we, we wack. Back. He's British. He's wack. We're going to bring him. I'm Jay Mill, and I'm the grand exalted master of the nose flute. I am a million dollar act. I can not only win the contest, but the nose flute will be in every home in America. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight I'm going to be playing one of the smallest instruments in the world. This is called Tiptoe Through the Tulips. Jay, you're just in the wrong place, in the wrong town, okay? Obviously, it was great fun meeting you. You're suffering from jet lag, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. And Brandy, what mega hit do you have out right now this week on the show? I'm about to. I'm about to. Just hold on and be patient. Yeah. Be Listen, patient. Listen, Hasselhoff. <laughs> you know, okay, Jay. singers have been known to be tone deaf, too. That's the most intelligent thing you've said all night. Goodbye, Jay. We'll be seeing you. <laughs> hey, how do you like that? The acts are beginning to fight back. Good for them. We got more auditions coming your way after the break. Those judges are not qualified to judge a milking contest, let alone a talent contest. Coming up, what's more dangerous, the microwave of death or Betty Victor's voice? you just tuned in, welcome back. We are on a mission to prove that America's got talent. Yeah. And so we are calling talented people down, and here comes Ivan Pasal. Ivan Pasal, Ivan, where are you? Ivan, there he is. All right, let's hear it for Nathan Burton. Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. How are you? The Buffon sisters. Finally, Betty Victor. Betty Victor. My name is Betty Victor. I think that I sing songs that are loving and uh, that make people feel good. That is so important. I mean, you don't have to take a pill. You just listen to, to, to my voice, and I've had people in nursing homes that wouldn't talk, and then I start to sing, and they start humming. Maybe by my coming forward like this, someone else won't wait until they're 76. Hi, my name is Betty Victor, and I'm going to sing God Bless America. All right. had an earwig in my ear and it caused me unbelievable pain and made this little whining noise and I haven't had that pain again in 15 years until about two minutes ago so maybe you should see an ear doctor <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I've got a feeling I might have to after that performance, to be honest. But anyway, uh, by all means, keep singing. Just don't do it on this stage. That's all I'm asking, OK? So is that a yes or a no? You'll be surprised to hear it's a no. OK. David, yes or no? I, well, you're beautiful, and, and, and that's a song that needs to be sung more often, you know, and you did a beautiful job. Thank you. you know? Thank you. Really. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but as, as, to be honest, as far as this talent show, I, I'm going to have to say no, but please keep singing. I, I do. I will. Okay, good. I will. Yeah. But thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Thank Just you. Just so you're saying no. You got to be able to take rejection. See, and I'm remembering that. So I can I can deal with it. I'm not going to go out and jump off a cliff or something. Hi everyone, I'm Ruby. And I'm Vicky. And we are the, the Buffon Sisters. Sisters. Thank you. Bravo, bravo, for Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely, and you're never coming round. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit tired of listening to the sound of my Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit nervous at the best of all the years have gone by. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit terrified, and then I see the look in your eyes. Turn around. That if you you guys got together with Bernie the stripper, you'd have a great act. Yeah. I actually think that the two of you can sing, but um, the outfits is kind of throwing me. I don't really. You like the outfits? I don't. And the hair and the makeup. I... Come on, Melissa. Hey, Randy. <laughs> I would honestly just like you both to turn around and go. Sorry. Oh. Oh. It's a no. David, yes or no? Um, you guys were really funny. Uh, girls were really, guys were really funny. But no. No. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. My name is Ivan Passell, and I'm doing comedy and juggling. Uh, I think the audience of the judges are absolutely going to love it. Me, personally, I like taking juggling to a whole other level. Uh, when most people think of a juggler, they think of, you know, some fat, hippie, circus clown. And I'm not that. All right, how you guys doing? Let me hear you! Today, I'm going to do some of my world-class juggling routines for you guys. Okay. Right from these two guys, but I thought you oh, did a... Oh, God, can you take some responsibility? I am taking responsibility. I buzzed it, <laughs> but I got peer pressure from you. Oh, All so right. it's our fault. Look, I'm a woman. I will go off on the both of you. You know, it's a lot of people... <laughs> Look, the audience is about to back me up because... Did you guys think he did a great job? Thank you. I thought, I thought you did... We're looking for some phenomenal talent and, and, and a million dollar prize, and you're a really great juggler, and thank you for coming, but uh, thank you. But I, I don't think it's... What? That, I don't think it's... I, I'm, I'm, say, I, I I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Exactly. I'm sorry. The talent that, we, that we've seen today is just not, not in the same... 
Because exactly. I'm not a juggler. <laughs> okay, and who are you? Okay. David Hasselhoff is absolutely right. We are here, we are here to find amazing talent. And for this audience to cheer you as if you're, you know, Elvis Presley was ridiculous. Do you, absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. Do you have any idea what you're talking about? Huh? I am one of the best jugglers out there. I've won tons of competitions. Exactly. You don't know anything exactly. about juggling. I'm, I'm sorry. No. Let's just decide. No. My vote's no. That's jacked up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I am. Are you guys watching the same show I am? Okay, look. We know what we've seen today on this show. This guy is talented in juggling. That's his talent. All right, you can come back one more time, but if you're not more exciting next time, it's over, okay? I'll give the audience one more go. Fair enough. Congratulations. You know, what... David, it's what, a wrap. No, it's what, already through. No, Let's not even What you guys are doing, you pass someone like that through, you, you don't take a chance from somebody else who really has talent. Okay, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. We're going to regroup. More to tell you in just a moment. Wow. Poor guy. Wait till he sees you. Coming up, who is the million dollar talent? The breakdancing cow, the talking bird, or the balancing dog? It all will be revealed. to America's Got Talent. You know, what we wanted to do here was bring variety back, and we're certainly glad we kept the receipt. But remember, the, ju the judges don't know who's coming out here. Now, let's see what is on next. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to attempt the world's most dangerous escape, the microwave of death. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. Thank you very much, Brady. <laughs> it's a one gag act. It's the oldest <laughs> trick in the magician's book. To me, it's not David Copperfield, but I like the cook. So what are we going to do? Are we going to vote him through? I vote yes. Bring him back. <laughs> it's Vegas. Hang on, hang on. Wait, hang on, Piers. You, you, you still change your mind now? I've got to be honest. It's, it's, it's not my cup of tea. No. Sorry. Well, I'm going to vote yes. Yeah! I think the audience Thank you. Is. Thank you very much. Great. You know, it's a little edgy, the whole black and white thing. It's, but that's fun. I mean, if I was cutting a girl in half and doing the standard, same old stuff, I probably wouldn't be here today.
I think young children will love it. Unfortunately, this is a talent show not aimed at two-year-old children, okay? Brandy, what do you think? Um, I, I just think that the performance was a bit strange. That, that's all. <laughs> David. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but thanks for coming. Yeah, move it on. That's why I came into this business. A breakdancing cow. Where are you going to see that? I love this show. Well, let's see what's next. Let's get them out here right now. Michael Speaks. Michael Speaks. J.R. John and his best friends. J.R. John. And let's hear it for Levitt. Let's all ship in and buy Vladek a shirt, all right? Well, it looks promising, and we'll see what they have to offer right after this break. We'll be right back. Coming up, more million-dollar auditions, plus more hassle from Hasselhoff as another juggler takes the stage. Welcome back to the show, everybody. More auditions coming your way. Let's get the next act out here right now. Yeah! Hey! What's your name, sir? Michael Speaks. And what are you going to be doing today? Uh, I'm going to be touching on some of my gospel roots today. Oh, we love that. Great. Yes. Okay. Michael, the, yes. the floor is yours. Let's go. Yeah! Now let's get ready to have a little bit of fun. Y'all ready? Yes, it is. I'm telling the love to sometimes when I'm feeling down. Got no judgments around. Oh, he just comes along and makes me go. Said I know. Jesus is. Yeah, I can feel him in my heart. Yeah, in my feet. I can feel the Lord. All over speech. Say it on up. Jesus is so, so. We are here. We are here. Brandon, you got it. I think you can be a gospel superstar. I definitely yeah. think that. Well, you, you delivered it in such a cool pop style that it goes right to, to your heart and, and <laughs> goes right to to, to, uh, to... to the soul. Yeah, to the soul. Right. right. Thank you. Right. I mean, apart from anything else, you, you were also, when you threw your mic in here, the best juggler we've seen as well. So <laughs> you, uh... Yes, yes, yes. I already know we're going to vote this guy through. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You're through, Michael. Congratulations. Yes. I know I have talent. I know I'm one of the most talented people on this planet that God has blessed. Now it's being authenticated by people that can actually do something to take it to the next level. my faith in jugglers, okay? 
Thank you. I hope, I hope this audience are now feeling slightly ashamed of themselves and that means right, that for ashamed. getting very overexcited about some very boring rivals of yours, right, who do very boring juggling acts. You are a proper performer. Thank you. I think you did it with ease. You did it with so much excitement. And I was just, I was excited to watch you. It was hot. I like it. Thank you. As you know, I love jugglers. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I thought you did a really good job. Thank you. What? Brandy? I say absolutely 100% yes. David? Absolutely 100% no. Yes from me. You're going through. Congratulations. Oh. You're through. Coming up, more million dollar dogs. And speaking of dogs, watch out, Snoop. Rappin' Granny is in the house. I got the rhythm and I got the beat in my bones. I was born to do this. <laughs> So we're back, everybody, to the show where there's something for everybody, whether they want it or not. Let's get more auditions going on, okay? Here we go. All right. How about this fella, S. Frank Stringham? S. Frank Stringham, the rapping granny, rapping granny. And finally, Wildlife Wendy. Come on down here, Wildlife. There you are, right there, babe. Nice to see you. This is Wazoo. Wazoo. I think she's a Congo African Grey. Why do they call this bird Wazoo? Actually, it's French. It means bird in French. Wow, well, she's ready to so, go, I'd say, yes, wouldn't oh, you? Yes. All right, shall we do it? Good luck and go get her. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, what's your name? Wazoo. Wazoo, the telephone's ringing. Good. Now there's someone at the door. Oh, very nice. Can you call the doggy? Yeah. Hey, I think you're scoring big on a video game. Nice. Is there water dripping? I guess so. Now, why don't you blow your bubbles? There you go. What do you say if the judges vote us off? That's right. <laughs> and are you excited to be here? I enjoyed the performance. It was, it was really nice, but I wanted to see him sing or say, you know, a sentence or something like that. Look, I don't, I don't want to be offensive to you, okay? You've got a lovely bird and it makes noises like parrots make. What are you going to do with your act that deserves a million dollars? Well, I'm going to bring out all my birds and show what I've been training over the past 13 years. And this is a true talent. I mean, birds don't train themselves. Um, she's done this over the past 11 years. I understand that you're a good, a good bird trainer, okay? But I bet you, if I was left with your parrot for an hour, I could teach it to say things. Parrots, I bet you you couldn't. I parrots, would bet you any money. Parrot, the point, the point of being a parrot is that they parrot stuff. So no. Then how come there aren't other birds on the show doing what I'm doing? I hope there are no more birds like this on the show. No, Well, I'm why sorry. did they even invite animals no, to be I on the show? I want to find the next Frank Sinatra or Madonna. Then not do a, a singing not a show. Don't ask for animals. To me, it's a definite... Oh. It's a definite no. It's a definite no. David. I already said what I said, so you want my Tell vote? Tell me again. I need to hear it again. My, my vote is no. Okay, then that means you're not through to the next one. Okay, round. thank you very much. Thank you. You know, I thought you were absolutely right. Thank what you. do they want from a parrot? I don't know. They, I don't know why they ask for animals to audition when they're going to treat us like you that. You got a little mad up there, didn't well, you? Well, this is not just a singing show. I mm -hmm. mean, there's other kinds of talent, and there aren't any other birds on this um, show doing what she's doing. So obviously, so, obviously, you can't teach a bird to do this in an hour. This is 11 years of training. Who's just, kidding? Give, the, give him the bird for an no. hour. My name is J.R. Johns. This is Badger. I've been performing with dogs for over 20 years. Most of them come from the SPCA or the Humane Society because I'm a firm believer in rescuing dogs and giving them a good home. We're performing with four dogs 
for the show. And I know them so well, I understand exactly what they're thinking about. Oh, Badger! 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 Hi, guys. I'm J.R. Johns. I'm from Reno, Nevada. I brought along a few of my best friends with me today. And right now, we're going to do some wacky stuff for you. You were great. Thank you very much. I was just on the edge of my seat. I'm, I'm just excited about this. Thank you. And I thought it was a great performance. It was faultless. Um, well, thank you. You had a real empathy with your, with your dogs. They love you. You love yeah. them. It was a caring show. And the audience got into it and loved you. And you know something? We've seen some great acts. You're one of them. It was yeah. good entertainment. Yeah. I, I say yes. I'll see you I again. say yes to see David. more of your hour. Yes. You're in! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see you next round, right? Congratulations. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> After the break, will the judges burst Frank's balloons? And the rapid granny throws it down. Got a lot of people out there cheering for me. I don't want to disappoint them. America. I've got talent. Welcome back to the talent show where anything goes. We just don't know where it's been. <laughs> Let's get on with the auditions right now. My name is S. Frank Stringham. Everybody just calls me S. And I am the best balloon entertainer in the world. I think that I should give the million dollars because I have so much talent. If you ever got a chance to see me really, really put all my talents together, you would say, oh my gosh, that guy deserves a million bucks. I deserve it. Okay, what's, what's your name? S. 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 Frank Stringham. Everybody just calls me S. I'm a singing comedian balloon artist. Really? Off you go. <laughs> I have a song I'd like to dedicate to all of you, and it's called... All of me. Why not take all of me? Can't you see? I'm no good without you. Take my lips. I want to lose them. Take my ears. You can't refuse them. Your goodbye left me with eyes that cry. How can I go on, dear, without you? You took. It's no longer S, it's F for finished, all right? Oh, it's yeah. over. No. Can I hear from one other person? I'd like to hear from Regis. Regis? <laughs> That's 
It's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Um, is that me? No. Very nice. Well, if that doesn't change the judges' minds, I don't know what will. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Wes. You Thank you, buddy. Much. Yeah. Okay, come guys, on, come let's, on. Uh, let's, let's put him out of his misery. David? Yeah, no. Definitely no for me. Sorry. You're a, S, you're a nice guy okay. when you're going home. Thanks very much. Thanks, all right. Okay. Wow. Wow. I hope I do fine, honey. I really do. Got a lot of people out there cheering for me. I don't want to disappoint them. I don't know who you are, but you're obviously a massive star, are you? Yeah. I mean, yeah. oh, okay. what do you do that I don't know that you do that's so popular? I'm a rapper. A rapper? You're a rapper. Yeah. Well, well, you're a rapping, a rapping granny, right? Yes. Well, get rapping. Let's see it. Come on. All right. Hit me. Everybody on your feet. Get up. Go, granny. It's your birthday. Go, granny. It's your birthday. Woke up to the sound. Of a siren. All last night I heard gunshots firing. Boom, boom, boom. It's all I heard from me, lemon to folk. So right up and catch two to the dome. And it's on like CNN all day long. Record shop, I got more props in the movie. And none of your busters out there can't fool me. You best recognize that the brand's OG. Like Kobe on the court, ain't no stopping me. Wave your hands in the air. Wave them for Granny out there. I said, wave your hands in the air. I, I did it because I couldn't stand it. Yeah. My, my grandkids played it all the time. My son was a DJ. All I heard was scratching and everything. I said, oh, y'all driving me crazy. So I said, well, I'm going to start writing a rap. Uh-huh. So I told him to give me a funky beat to put with it. Now I'm one of the homies. No. <laughs> Awesome. I thought you did a great job. I was so entertained and... Oh, thank you, Brandy. I really liked it a lot. You're an inspiration. Rapping Granny, you yes, are sir. what this show is all about. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Let's thank have you. a vote. 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 Yes. yes! No, Granny, yes. you're going to the Hi, coming up on 7. We've got more outstanding talent for you next week. I say America's got talent. We'll see you next week. Good night, everybody. As it turns out, L.A. had more talent than we could show you. The following acts also made it to the next round. Celtic Spring, Sugar and Spice, Jessica Sanchez, and Versity. Rabbi Baptiste, George K, Andy Chatanga, Conrad Wright, Sean and John, Natasha Lee, Rialis, Caitlin Taylor Love, Marla and Michelle, Hell If I Know, Jess Shell, Stilt World, Poopalicious, and Desperation Squad. Your local.